Virtual items can be valuable, very valuable. The highest price ever paid for a virtual item was six million for Planet Calypso from the game Entropia. There's a long list of virtual items from many games that have sold for thousands of dollars. One recent success story is CryptoKitties, whose celestial cyber dimension cat sold for $140,000. CryptoKitties is played by hundreds of thousands of users and has received millions of dollars in VC funding. So how does the game work? You breed cats, leave them to sit there, and try to sell them later. So why is everyone so excited about it? Because the crypto kitties aren't just cute little pictures of cats. They're actually tokens stored on Ethereum's blockchain. Creating a non-fungible token is like creating a digital asset, which is its own certificate of authenticity that is completely impossible to forge. How does this affect virtual items? Blockchain completely redefines their value and turns them into a new class of digital assets. This is because of four key properties unique to digital assets stored on a blockchain. Transparency, immutability, security, and decentralization. Transparency means that the scarcity of an item is proven. So if you want to find out how many copies of your item lie in the blockchain, you can visit a blockchain explorer like Nginx and see for yourself. Immutability creates a unique, publicly visible historical log of items. Their past is trackable. You can see what it was previously purchased for and how popular it's been. Immutability gives your virtual item a backstory. Security of blockchain technology is second to none, especially Ethereum's blockchain, which contains the most nodes and is the most decentralized. Arguably, it is the most secure database in the world, and its protection covers the storage, transfer, and management of items. Items created on the blockchain aren't stuck inside gaming servers, so users won't lose access to those items by losing access to a game. The decentralized database gives them full control and sovereignty over their assets. User-friendly apps like the Engine Smart Wallet enable users to carry their items with them in their pocket and still find them available when they enter games the items belong to. This introduces a concept of true ownership over digital assets. This is the reason there are people willing to pay $140,000 for a picture of an adorable kitten. Because it's proven to be rare, it has an interesting history, you're unlikely to lose it, and it truly belongs to you. Engine, cryptocurrency symbol ENJ, created the first coding for a non-fungible token, similar to what CryptoKitties implemented into their game. The resulting code became known as the now famous ERC721 protocol. But the code for Engine's virtual items is now much more advanced. Engine will soon release their Unity software development kit, which will enable any game developer who uses Unity to leverage the power of the blockchain and create their own blockchain-backed collectibles. This will be available for use in games made for Android, iOS, PlayStation, Xbox, Nintendo, Windows, Oculus Rift, Google Cardboard, Facebook games, and many more. This will allow forward-thinking developers who use Unity Game Engine to fund their upcoming projects by issuing early release collectibles, monetizing their economy, and making a commission off third-party sales of collectibles. This will also enable pro gamers and influencers to monetize their services by selling collectibles with historical significance, such as items they used in important tournaments or popular streams. Game developers can also get a cut of the profits and receive tons of free promotion. It's all built into the code. Engine Coin also gives developers the ability to introduce intuitive gameplay mechanics, such as rental of collectibles allowing users to rent their items out for a specific duration or situation. This allows the owner of the collectible and its initial creator to make an ongoing profit by generating repeat business. In-game loss of collectibles can be used to up the stakes of gameplay. Restrictive trading of collectibles allows developers to set specific parameters for trade. For example, developers can restrict trading to only occur at a certain time and place. Secure peer-to-peer -peer trading through escrow facilities will mean users are no longer at risk of getting ripped off in dodgy deals. 
All of these unique features will enable developers to provide value to their customers in new and exciting ways, and will attract users who are looking for a deeper connection to their gaming worlds. The objective is not only to give gaming items real-world value, but to create more meaningful gaming experiences and help developers create games that can change people's lives. There are many more transformative functions of Engine's Unity Software Development Kit, which we will go through in detail in future videos. The features we covered today are simply the most easily accessible to developers. All games, all developers, and all players can benefit from the introduction of collectibles. So if you're a Unity developer interested in finding new ways to fund, monetize, and market your game, visit enginecoin.io today and sign up for our partnership program. We provide marketing, development, and financial support. Join our community today and chat with other developers who are adopting our technology. Or just come and ask some questions to find out more. We'll see you there.